started down here for 2013, so it's been a long time coming. Um, but over those six years, the project involved, evolved excuse me, into something so much bolder than what we originally started with. For students, it's provided a space to explore creativity with faculty. Adobe provides students with new room options not offered anywhere else on campus. So this year, for almost the first time in 10 years, we actually have adequate space to offer upperclassmen to live on campus. And that is very exciting after 10 years. <laughs> so, but for our campus, it has done some very specific things. It's created a gateway on Stadium Drive as you come up Stadium Drive. It's also, for the state of Arkansas, so rich in timberland, offers new possibilities for industry. Thank you, is, excuse me, thank you is two powerful words express gratitude, humility, understanding, and acknowledgement. And when we achieve, we usually do so because others have helped. So thank you to the students who participated in multiple focus groups and rounds of furniture selection. This hall reflects your feedback. Thank you to the faculty at Fulbright College who met for over a year and a half to help design the creative space. These meetings led to details assisting the project with specifications and equipment we needed 
to make it happen, and their input was invaluable. Thank you to Peter McKeith, Dean of Fayette Jones School of Architecture and Design, for sharing a method that was used often in other countries, but is still in its infancy in the United States. Thank you to Angela Carpenter and the faculty in the wood fabrication who used scraps from cross-laminated timber to design and build the tables you will see later in the makerspace and the cabin. There are none other in anywhere like them. So thank you to Facilities Management for their guidance and efforts making this project a success. You have always been and continue to be a steadfast partner. Thank you to all the university staff who worked diligently behind the scenes to have everything ready when the students arrived in August. Thank you to University Housing Directors Billy Blunt, Paul Soulsby, Jeff Finger, to Kayla Stratton Brooks, who all offered their expertise throughout the project. There are so many people that helped with this project, I cannot possibly name all of them, and I'm not going to. <laughs> but it's extremely important to mention the design team, Moda Studio, Lear's Weiss Apple Associates, Mackie Mitchell Architects, Olin Partnerships, and Navajo's Construction <coughs> Company. Others who played a significant role were Halsback LLC, Bernard TME, Cromwell Energy Service, DCI, Integrity Partners, and Equilibrium Consulting. Thank you so much to the Native American students and faculty and staff on campus who helped guide us to this name. To David Davies, Vice Chancellor Charles Robinson, Chancellor Steinmetz, and to the Board of Trustees for approving the name Adohi coming into the forest. And now, please welcome Chancellor Steinmetz. Thank you, Flo. And uh, also thanks to Scott and Charles and everyone else for coming out. Um, when I thought about this, uh, Do Dohe Hall is really two great stories that are rolled into one. And the first, of course, is the innovative use of, of uh, timber materials. And as Flo was mentioning, Dohe Hall is constructed out of cross-laminated timber, or CLT. As far as we know, it's one of the largest uh, projects of its kind in this country, although I think there'll probably be some others that will follow. And it really posed an exciting opportunity for us on our campus, but I think more generally here in the state of Arkansas. Given the number of jobs that there are in Arkansas that's tied to the timber industry as well as the wealth of forest land that we have in the state, the potential to boost economic activity across the state in a sustainable way, I think is part of the good story about this project. And we can and we already have been a catalyst in that activity, especially in developing materials and pushing the envelope as far as possible on design, because we believe strongly in the future of CLT. Although I have to add as an aside, not everybody was convinced at the beginning this was the way to go but I, I thought it was best. It has been used in our new library annex, and I, um, I know um, we have Mr. Alley here today who was involved in the construction of that. That was really the first project on campus. And if you haven't seen that facility, you should go over it. I've seen library annexes all over the country, and I've been around universities that have built them. I've never seen one as beautiful as the one we have, and it's part of, the, of, the, of, to the, of this technology. And it pushes further, there's been a recent $7.5 million gift from John Ed and Isabel Anthony for the new Anthony Timberland Center for Design and Materials Innovation. <laughs> and together with uh, um, some support from Governor Hutchins, uh, Hutchinson as well as a match from the university, we'll be building a $16 million facility a five-story, 50,000-square-feet building that will be in the Wingate Arts and Entertainment District. A one-of-a-kind, a unique thing that we will have here that other places don't have. And this is really the clear fulfillment of our land-grant mission to use research and expertise that actually advances the state of Arkansas. That's part of the reason we're here. And I want to also give a shout-out to 
Peter McKee for his role in this. Peter brought, I think, the interest in timber technology to the state from his experiences and his role as a dean of the Faye Jones School. He's been an advocate for this, and, and I think uh, the state will be thanking Peter for years and years to come. And in fact, I think some of you know that the Walmart Corporation has made the decision to build their two and a half million square foot facility in Bentonville, their new home office, from this technology. This was a piece of I'm very, very, very proud of the role that the university played in our movement towards this direction. It will make an impact, it makes a difference. Of course, none of this matters if it didn't serve another purpose, and that, in this particular case, is serving the needs of our students. That's the second great story about Adohi Hall. The emphasis on student success through living, learning communities that focus on the arts and humanities. This building allows more students to live on campus, including more upperclassmen, as Flo was pointing out. And we know one thing, this is a good move for, for everybody. Students living on campus have higher retention rates and they have higher graduation rates. We know that. So this is a good thing. Adohi gives students room to study and to work on class projects, to practice, to perform and interact with other students that have that similar interest. That's a reason I'm proud that this facility exists. I, we think this will provide a richer, more fulfilling student experience overall. Now I want to thank all of our faculty who shaped our thinking on this and will support the students that are living here for years and years to come. Thanks also to Flo and her team in housing. Mike Johnson, for you and your team, you always do a wonderful uh, job here on campus in facilities management, as well as everyone at Naples Construction and Moda Studio. As I said, Adohi Hall is a wonderful story in our campus, for our campus. In fact, two stories. Thank you. Thank you, Chancellor. You know, I have the best part in this whole thing. I just get to say thank you and to cut the ribbon. And uh, I'm very, very grateful to the team we have in Student Affairs who work together collaboratively with other parts of the university as has been so well articulated thus far. We're still in fundraising mode, Chancellor, and uh, so we're still paying for this building. So anyone who feels inspired <laughs> to, uh, to, to, to join us in uh, financing this great uh, enterprise, we would be most appreciative. Uh, I know I'm standing in the way of more food and also your cross-laminated timber block and so we're going to cut the ribbon and uh, allow you to socialize. I want uh, Mike, come on up, and also Peter, come on up, and uh, let's let's uh, uh, get the provost for sure, and, and 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 let's cut this ribbon, Chancellor. Come on up, and uh, let's get this done. <laughs>
Recording studio. <clears throat> this is the hall to the maker spaces. <clears throat> Power grids, crickets for patterns, industrial lockers. Soldering area, 3D printers. Thanks for joining us today. <laughs> <laughs> 